Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video we are going to discuss about unit 7 and how you should prepare unit 7 for CSI UGC NET exam. Now the very first thing is that unit 7 is not an economical unit, okay, it's not economic because it's a huge unit, it contains every single human systems that includes digestive system, respiratory system, excretory system, blood circulatory system and reproductive system and all this muscular system and all the systems together endocrine system as well so all these systems are there and this is a big chapter right and the number of question you get is also five to six question in part c so uh, like it's normally taking more than one two months to prepare unit seven properly and you cannot guarantee even though you prepare unit seven properly you cannot guarantee that you will be able to answer all the question asked from unit seven that's the difficult job about unit 7. That's why I always tell my students to read unit 7 suggestively or to leave it. If you are from human physiology background, if you have human physiology in your graduation or masters, then this subject is just for you. Then you should prepare it A to Z completely. But if you are from any other field and have not studied human physiology for quite a long time after plus 2, then either you can re re remove this chapter from your preparation or if you prepare, you prepare suggestively. You know, if you prepare suggestively, there is no guarantee that you will be able to answer all the questions. There is no guarantee you will be able to answer even one question. But at least one to two questions you can answer uh, if you follow these topics. If you check last few years question paper of unit 7, you will see the questions are asked repeatedly from few topics. One of such topic is the action potential, the nerve uh, uh, action potential. And how exactly the action potential is transferred, the nerve impulse is transferred from one nerve to the next nerve. That is very very important, that is unique. The role of acetylcholine uh, and as well as GABA glycine is very very important. That's what is given, that's what you need to understand very well. The second thing which is very important here is uh, the endocrine system. Why I tell endocrine system is very important because endocrine system is easy to remember because there is very less thing to uh, analyze. This is most thing to remember like which hormones are secreted from which gland and which gland is under the regulation of which master gland. That's what you need to know. And also you need, also need to know the, the, the over secretion and hypo secretion of every single hormone leads to what kind of effect. If you know all these things then uh, you, just only preparing endocrine system give you an option to answer one to two question in part C from unit seven alone and you can prepare endocrine system within three days it's it's that easy it's not that difficult okay just some tables some charts that you need to follow the tables where it will be written all the name of the pituitary gland secreted hormones their function and all and regarding other gland secreted hormones their function their hyposecretion disease their hypersecretion disease and all that's what you need to understand and uh, what you need to follow here is the tables a lot of tables and mnemonics and we have mnemonics in our channel plenty of mnemonics are there regarding the pituitary hormones and other hormones you can study those in our channel from our channel uh, to get or you can prepare your own mnemonics to understand and study the different hormones and the role of these hormones in a particular per, like humans development and growth and how they function okay this is very very important that's what you should do for uh, this unit 7 for the other chapters i can tell you that excretory system is very important particularly the counter current exchange method and urine formation is very very interesting very important for the exam uh, these are the two things okay three things uh, one is the action potential second thing is all about the endocrine system and the third thing is regarding the excretory system if you prepare these three things i believe you will be able to answer two to three questions and you need seven days to prepare only these three units okay so that will be good right three units and you can answer three questions rather than reading for two three months and answering same two to three questions so that's how you should do about unit seven okay so that's how you should prepare unit seven if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that thank you bye